So I'm going to be explaining how our film fit in with the codes and conventions of um, a crime thriller slash drama. Um, so I made a little poster sort of thing, which I'm going to explain. So the sort of general codes and conventions of films in this genre are things like um, illegal substances, substances like drugs, um, like al alcohol, things like that, um, weaponry, um, a hard upbringing of the protagonist. Often in films like this, the main character has had like a hard home life. Uh, some like editing uh, conventions and stuff is like low key lighting is used a lot to create mystery and um, a tense atmosphere within the audience. So yeah, I'm going to explain how we use them. So we for the, we use the legal substances. So the ma the plot revolves around. Um, the main character Chelsea, you know, dealing drugs, having a close relationship with drugs. She depends on them in a way. She um, she needs to sell them to get the money for her mum. So that convention we followed really closely. Like it's, it's throughout used throughout the whole the whole play, play film whole film. So yeah, we've stuck to that convention very well. We've used that um, weaponry. We've used because in the end. Uh, Chelsea carries, is carrying a knife constantly but you don't actually see that until the end and she uses it to um, murder the girl that like, attempts to mock her accidentally so um, weaponry is used subtly I'd say in the film it's only you know like referred to in like seen once which is good because we don't want to you know we don't want to send a me like a message to a younger audience who might watch it that oh you know um, you should carry knives and stuff like we don't want to send that message across and we don't want to show lots of violence to people who might be watching it so I think it's good that we've used it in in like a subtle sort of way or like only referred to once um the hard upbringing of the protagonist Chelsea obviously um you know suffers at home her mum is really unwell she doesn't really have a father figure around she doesn't have any brothers or sisters to you know for support so she does have like a hard life she just she has to take care of herself, she has to fend for herself and um, I think that's like really important. That's the whole reason why she does the things that she that she does and commits the, the crimes that she does. So that convention is used very strongly. Um, the low key lighting, we've, we use in, in scenes that we want the audience to feel like really tense, tense in. So the scene where Chelsea is getting followed and she gets mugged. We're going to use lots of low key light in there, like keep the, um, the the mugger in the shadows, so it like creates a sense of like mystery, like who is that, like, like their identity isn't really like revealed. Um, so that convention we definitely used. So overall, to evaluate that, I've written uh, it includes many of the the film concludes many of the conventions of the crime thriller genre. It incorporates drugs, violence, weapons, difficult situations, and a question of morality. So, like in many films under this genre as well, um, a convention is this question of morality, and you know if the things that the characters doing is right or for the for the good of people. And um, another really common convention is the debate of innocence and guilt, and I think that really applies in our film because although Chelsea is going against the law and doing things that she shouldn't really be doing, it is for a good cause. So when she's imprisoned at the end, I think it sort of leaves the audience with this this debate of, oh, was she innocent for because it was an accident and it was self-defence? Or was it, um, what, did she deserve to go to prison because she was, you know, breaking the law? So I think that's really um, a convention that we, that we used. And I wrote that down on the poster. <laughs> um, however... In one way, we didn't didn't really follow the conventions. So, a lot of films under this genre are really male orientated. A lot of the characters are male, they're all males. Like detective detective programs, you know, like Sherlock, for example. Like both two male, really strong male protagonists. Um, Ill Manners is a film that we studied. Like all of the main characters are male. Um, Brotherhood, all male again. You know, which is not a problem, but. Um, I've written down, our film challenges the genre's conventions, filmed under the genre are usually more orientated. Um, 
uh, yeah, females always exist as like wives and girlfriends and like not not important characters. Like ill manners, especially all of the girls are like prostitutes and seen as sex objects, which you know relates to um, Laura Mulvey's theory, like the male gaze. Um, in these films, it's I think that's really heavily relied upon, especially in the film Ill Manners, when they're all they're all of the girls are prostitutes or brought up in really horrible situations and are really like objectified. That's the word. So we want to we want to challenge that convention. So we um, originally our cast was all boys, but after like considering that that aspect that you know, a lot of these films are just based around boys and men and girls aren't really an important part we decided to you know change the cast of girls and have a girl, girl lead and you know you wouldn't you wouldn't expect two teenage girls to be dealing drugs and be carrying knives and things like this so it's it does like challenge stereotypes and um we wrote i wrote down the girls take on roles that are most likely to be associated with boys violence and drugs and something you would think girls are a part of this encourages the audience not to judge people until they know the full story so yeah i think We've sort of used the conventions and we've also challenged part of the conventions of this genre. So hopefully we will have created a successful film under the crime thriller drama genre.